Hello good people of YouTube, this is Sean with Feature View Gaming and today's episode of Tactical Advantage I'll be talking about Grand Bazaar. Now this is a montage of Grand Bazaar gameplay from three different matches I played, two of them this week and one from a while back. Now I'll give some tips and tricks on this, like right here you see this big piece of um, concrete that's just kinda sitting there, it's poking up out the ground that's not destructible. They, they can't take that out and it's very good for cover. Now you see right there I turn around trying to check where my enemy, where my teammates are so I can see if I can get revived. And I'm just mowing people down trying to hold them off over here. Trying to stop their push. They're pushing hard. And I eventually get killed over here when they get the tank over. As you see there's the tank and try and get the medic before he gets the support guy. So, yeah. And right here, here's another push by B-Bomb I believe it was. I'm kind of just pushing out, trying to mow them down, trying to clear this area out. I believe they might have already gotten the bomb. Yeah, they did. But if you can clear one area, get the people out of that area, that's one less area you have to really worry about a huge push from. And right here, they're already on A bomb. We lost this match, but we had some pretty good gameplay, and I can actually do a, some pretty good commentary on stuff like this, where you see we're dug in. The bomb's gone, but this team is still insisting on pushing. Which is good for us because we can farm some kills off of them. We can take their tickets down for the next set of bombs before they can actually access them. And as I said, if you can take out people by these two bomb sites, that's a couple of open lanes that you don't have to worry about getting completely destroyed in. And this little cubby hole did great. It was it was perfect for cover. And as y'all see, I'm doing a lot more use of cover. I'm trying to keep I'm trying to stay in cover. I'm trying to keep my teammates up. I'm throwing out med packs. I'm reviving and this is where I get hit. And yeah. They we just got so bombarded right here, which we burnt down a lot of tickets. And it was a uh, I guess I would say it was worthy for the clip. I got a lot of points out of it and if you can hold that area down before they get to the bomb, you're usually doing really good. Right here, this is another example of clearing the bomb area. They already got this bomb, but I want to get these people out of here. If you get these people out of here, again, it's another area you really don't have to worry so much about another push from. Which, on Grand Bazaar, the, the, there's already so many lanes people have pushed from, it's best to limit those as much as possible. Now, I'm attacking. Now, you see the laser sight, but I can't determine where the guy's at, so I'm taking cover behind the wall. I'm like, alright, I'm going to find the sniper. There he is. Now... My accuracy isn't so great with the AUG in this montage. A lot of stuff I'm doing is actually trying to work suppression in on them. And right here, you see, I'm looking over there. We got a bomb, and I'm thinking I can. I was thinking about pushing the B bomb, which would have gotten me killed. But instead, I said I'm gonna slow play B bomb, and I'm gonna hold them in there off of a bomb. As long as I'm right here, they don't have that lane to get to because I'm picking everybody off who goes there. And I'm trying to take out these guys who are trying to peek and pick. So you see a lot of pre-firing and stuff trying to get suppression up as soon as I can which will give me a little bit more time to get on target. And we're just pounding them. We're holding them in there. And it actually took us a long time to get this bomb during this gameplay. If I was to upload the full match most of it was actually this set of bombs because these guys just would not give up this bomb. They had it held down and they were great at defending these bombs. But on a 200 ticket server, 300 ticket server you know your um ps3 servers your standard 24 man si servers it's it's hard to really defend for that extended amount of time now you see what i did right there i run across i'm firing i'm trying to get to my teammates i'm keeping suppression up i'm pushing people back into the cubby hole so i can get some revives now right here this is the push back through golden the main reason i'm pushing this way is they're dug down back by carpets and stuff so i'm like all right i'm gonna push back here Instead of going straight to the bomb, I'm going to pick these guys off. I'm going to take care of a couple of the guys who are back in this hallway, back in this little cubby area. Because there's a nice way to push towards that B-bomb. And if you have this area cleared, then you have a another access route for your team to attack from. And you have less people behind B defending. Now, I throw this grenade here. I saw the guy go into the cubby hole. The grenade pushes him back in, giving me a chance to push up a little bit and get this nice little surprise shot on him. He was expecting me to be back at the um, at Golden Hallway, which didn't exactly happen. So you see, I got this area clear. 
we don't have to worry about people coming up behind us from here. So I push back forward and it's like, I know there's people piled up in here. I'm seeing people dying. So I get the little kill streak going, throw down the med pack. This guy pushes out, but he pulls back. If he had stayed going forward, he probably would have been able to take me out. I'm trying to run through, get, get revives. I'm not exactly running away from the bomb. I'm just trying to keep the tank covered a little bit. I see the C4 guy going for it. And it's like, come back over here, cover the bomb. Keep some cover around you. I get into the open a little bit. I get a little aggressive, but I get the guy trying to jump down. And I see people dying in here, so it's like, okay. Let me get these two guys hiding out. And the M416, I even after it was buffed to be like the ultimate tryhard gun, I really didn't enjoy it so much. I have 900 kills with it, and after this match, I had a lot more. Now, this is some older gameplay where I'm doing more support than assault. And what people fail to realize is support has more than one role. Support, you throw down the ammo, but if you have C4, you're also anti-vehicle. And the tanks on this map can wreak some serious havoc. They can really, really mess you up on the defending team. We lost this match too, but right here you see I'm not giving up on the tank. The tank driver was dumb enough to drive off the highway. And I suicide, but getting rid of that tank was my priority. Even if I suicide and die, I can respawn back in. If you take out that tank, that's a few minutes without a tank that they have to deal with. And this other guy in my squad was awesome enough to come revive me. And we take care of all these guys who are posted up over here, too. So, if you can cut down on their defensive lanes and stuff like that when they're defending, it's just like attacking. I, I look at attacking and defending as kind of one and the same. When you're attacking, you're trying to get to the bombs. When you're defending, you're trying to keep people from the bombs. So if you can cut off lanes while attacking, that gives you more areas to attack from. If you can cut them off while defending, that's less that you have to worry about. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, leave a rating, leave a comment, and let me know what you like. If you want me to keep doing more stuff like this, I will. Until then, have a nice day, and happy holidays, YouTube.